Good morning. Welcome to 5 Minute Fit. There's our first ding ding. Let's start our jog or march in place. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. For today's workout, we need a heavy and light set of dumbbells. If you just have one or the other, you can absolutely make it work. Just modify as we're going along if you need to. We're in our five minute warm up here. We have about two and a half minutes worth of cardio, two and a half minute stretch, and then we'll get to our first real round. All right, we're twisting, arms bent at the side of your body here, about 90 degree angle. Twist and move. Reach high. That timer you hear in the background is keeping us on track every 30 seconds with a 10 second reminder at the end of each round. All right, we got some jump rope. Muscles warm here. Everything should be warming up. Heart rate starting to elevate. Upper body only, opening and closing. Front and back, twisting in the middle. Big arm circles to the front the back. All right, we're going to jog and do some jump squats. So every few seconds, we'll jump and then we'll jog. Jump, jump, jump. Jog it up. Jump, jump, jump. And jog. A couple more. All right, we made it through the cardio, locking fingers, pressing them out. Nice wide stance with your feet. Up tall with your arms, push your hips forward, lean to the back. Center, bending from one side to the other side. Out in front of you, rocking side to side. Take it low, keep the rock going. One toe out, straight legs, big reach. Switching to the other side. I have a fun one planned for today. We're going to get, of course, as we always do, we're going to get the whole body involved. Mix it up a little bit. Some, some lightweight movements, some heavyweight movements. Center palms up, twisting. Other side. Opposite arms, gonna come down to opposite leg, point and look to the sky. Rotate over, other side. With your fingertips, flip them backwards, walk them through your leg. Hands on your knees, dropping your butt, rotating one shoulder in, and then the other. Straightening the legs out, slowly uncurling the upper body. One arm across, cradle at the elbow, pull it tight. Switching, other side. Tricep stretch, bending the elbow, pulling it down. Other side. And 
again, shoulder rolls to the back. To the front. All right, crew, we're ready. Let us begin. Okay, we have, for our planks today, we need just us. All right, just us. So we're gonna be planking through the whole thing, no weights. Come on down, we're gonna start in center plank on your elbows and your feet. And then we're just gonna tap on one side. So one toe taps out to the side and then bring it right back in. Ready to switch legs. Okay, to the other side. Tap it, bring it in. Side plank is coming. We're gonna do a little, little movement in it. Ready to go there next. All right, modified side plank. We're gonna crunch to the elbow to the knee and then the hand to the toe. Elbow to knee, hand to toe. It's a tough advanced move here. If you need to just hold, of course that's fine. You can just hold side plank. Ready to switch sides. Here we go, other side. Modified side plank, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Ooh, it burns. Center plank, guys. We're going back to center plank, and now we're going to alternate the toe tap. One foot out, bring it in, take the other one out. Only 30 seconds here. Then we're going to go back to those side planks. Back to the side plank. Modified side plank, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Other side. Elbow to knee, hand to toe. These are a burner. Everything should be burning on these. Outer thighs, center abs, obliques, shoulders a little bit. Gotta love it. All right, we're back onto our elbows. And we have the alternating foot tap, side to side. We're gonna do that burner one more time. Those side planks are coming. Woohoo! Last time through. Side plank, elbow to knee, hand to toe. Burn, baby, burn.
other side. Elbow to knee, hand to toe, last round, guys. Woohoo! Burn, baby, burn. Almost out of the planking. There it is. Let's have a child's pose. Woo, those hip flexors are on fire. When you're making your way up, we are gonna get an upper body round in. We're gonna have thighs, tries, teensy bit of shoulders. Then we'll have a leg round, then we'll have a break. We are going to be standing for the next two rounds. All right, we need heavy weights and light weights for this section. Woo! Start with the heavies. We're going to have a hammer curl, just regular hammer curl. Elbows are at your short seams. Curl up, stop the curl at the highest point of concentration and then let it go back down. Curl and uncurl. All right, we're gonna alternate now. One and. Ready to go to a kickback. Okay, we're gonna go over a heavy kickback. Elbows won't be real high here because that's our heavier weight. We keep them up as much as you can. The curl in, we just are really bending in. It's not a curl, we're just bending those elbows in, get the little break on the triceps, and then extend right back out. Squeeze through the triceps. Ready to alternate. Okay, here we go. One and the other. When this ends, we're gonna grab our light weights. Good job, guys. Bites and tries should be burning. Woo! Little shoulder work to break it up. Here we go, grab those du light dumbbells. We're going to a front raise. Palms are down, raise up until the weights are about parallel to the ground, straight arms. Give it like a one second squeeze at the top and then we're right back down. We keep going. Toward the end, we're going to alternate. Give me about five more here, and then we'll alternate. Okay, here we go. We alternate. One and do it with speed. a little bit of speed here. And we're starting over almost right now. Get ready. Dinger's coming. Going to the heavy weight. There it is, hammer curls. We have the hammer curls and the kickbacks to repeat. Then we'll get a leg round in. And we're gonna take a little break before we get back to it. Oh yeah, double hammer curl, get ready to alternate. Keep good form, woo. Go, one and. Okay, 
Kickbacks are coming, guys. Here we go, kickbacks, elbows up, extend, squeeze, bend in, release, extend, squeeze, bend in, release. Get ready to alternate. Last round, if my counting's correct. Alternate each rep, we switch sides. One and, woo, good burn here. Lower body round is coming. Start with no weight and then we'll need the heavy weight so you can kind of have them in a good spot to grab them. We'll be doing some front lunges and some close and wide deadlifts. For the front lunge, if you have limitations with the front lunge, you can absolutely stay in a static lunge, meaning you don't push off at all, or you could even go to a squat if it's just too much of a move. Totally. So feel it out for you. Make sure you're doing what's right for your body. We're going to start with a alternating front lunge. So you step to the front, come into your lunge, push back, switch legs. Making sure that you're up on the back toe, the heels off the ground, and that your front knee isn't glowing forward at all. You're not lunging forward. It could be the side view. It should stay in line with the ankle as much as possible. To accomplish that, you just drop the back leg straight down. All right, we're gonna pick a side. Front lunge to that one side. Stay on it. Big push back. Use that front leg to push back. Other leg. When this round ends, we're going to grab our weights. We'll have a close and then a wide deadlift. And we'll start it over. Simple set, really effective. Good stuff on the quads here. And then we're going to go ahead and tackle the hamstrings in a second. Grabbing your weights. Close feet deadlift. Let's have your feet within shoulder width apart, nice and close. Come down below the knees, feel the stretch in the hamstrings, then stand tall. We want a natural arch in the back. To accomplish this, pull your head and chest up nice and tall. Shoulders back, gives us an immediate little arch in the back. Butt goes way out, keep the weights close to your legs as you go forward. Now we're gonna do the same move, we're gonna step with wide feet. Hands come right in between the legs, right below the knees. Feel the different part of the hamstring it gets. Awesome, feels so good. Woo, love a deadlift. At the top, we're squeezing the glutes. Really push your butt together. Start it over, alternating front lunge. One foot, then the other. Make sure that front knee doesn't drift forward at all. Protect the knees at all costs. If you have struggle with balance here, hold onto a wall. It will not mess you up. I'd rather you have good balance and do the exercise than stumble around or fall. All right, we're on one leg only. Lunge and push back. Lunge and push back. Big push back.
Other leg, lunge and push back. We're almost through with this first round of legs. We'll have a break coming. Let's finish this lunge. Do our two deadlifts, close and wide. And we'll take a couple minute break. it is. All right, grabbing our weights. Close deadlift, feet close. Come right below those knees, stand tall, squeeze glutes. Step wide, nice wide stance. Come below those knees. This is it, guys. We're gonna take a break after this. When we return, we're gonna do this leg round again. So we're gonna have a, like a two minute break. If you're on the recording, I know it doesn't show you much of a break. Take take a minute, take two minutes, and then repeat the legs. We get the legs done, and then we'll be on the ground for the rest of the set. There it is. Woohoo! All right, so when we come back, we have that leg fun one more time. Take, uh, oh, we got way ahead of schedule. Good. Take like three minutes. We'll come back at 8 25. All right, here we go. Let's get that leg fun one more time through. Now you know what's coming. We have the alternating front lunge. Let's do it. One foot, then the other. So really simple couple of exercises. We'll get done with the legs and then we'll be on the ground. We'll have back and chest together. Finish with abs. We're on our way to done. All right, pick a leg, stay on that leg. Front lunge, push back. Make sure that front knee is not drifting over the front toe. Drop the back leg straight down. Heels should be off the ground. Up the back leg. Other side. So it's good to change up the order of things, how much impact you place on the different muscles. Normally we'd have several rounds before we'd repeat the legs. Today I wanted to go back to back, put a little bit more stress on those muscles, make them work a little bit harder. If it challenges you, it likely changes you. All right, get our deadlifts. Here we go, close feet. Take it on down. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Arch your back, head and chest, stay nice and tall. Step it wide. Nice wide stance. Feel that stretch in the hamstrings before you come back up. Make sure you've got a nice arch in your back. Good form, guys. Come on. We repeat, challenge if you want it. Leave the weights in your hand. We have an alternating front lunge. If you wanna get rid of them, that's fine too. It's harder to keep good form with the weight, so feel it out, see how you're doing. Pick 
a leg, stay on it. Forward lunge, push back. Ready to switch sides. Other leg. It's our last lunging set. Deadlift's coming, guys. We're almost out of legs. Woo! There we go. Close feet deadlift. Feet are close together. Bend forward at the waist. A soft knee. Paint the legs with the weights. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Come on up. Squeeze your glutes. Comes our last round. Wide stance. Weight stay center in between your legs. Feel the stretch as you get below the knee. You should feel the hamstrings really get a nice stretch. Stand tall, squeeze glutes. Almost done with legs. We'll be making our way down to the ground next. Heavyweights. Well, I lied. Maybe you'll want a lighter weight for one of them. All right, we're going to get chest and back done. We're going to finish our day today with abs, our workout today. Then we'll stretch. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is overhead pull, straight arm, we're gonna be laying on our back. If you wanna do that with just one weight or with your two light weights, that's fine too. It's a tough exercise with both heavies. Kind of feel, feel it out, see how you're doing. And then we're gonna go right to a chest buster and we'll repeat that. We'll go two times through before we move on. All right, here we go. Grabbing the weights onto our backs. The overhead pull looks like this. Straight arms, overhead, come up over your chest. Big squeeze. I love this exercise because it works your back and your chest at the same time. When you get the weights over your chest, really feel your back squeezing. Now we're gonna go right to a buster. Push the weights together and up and down. Oops, did I mess that up? I did. Sorry, forgot I have to always have the music page up or it stops playing. We're pushing together and up and down. Great chest exercise, big push guys. We're going right back to the overhead pull. Now, keep those weights together. Again, if you need to be down to one weight here, that's totally fine. This is a hard exercise with heavy weight. Keep good form, straight arms. Let the weights go right before they would touch the mat. Pull them up over your chest. Squeeze the back into the mat. One more time, chest buster. When this round ends, we're gonna come up into a push-up position. So we're gonna be rolling over. Bring your weights with you. We're gonna alternate a push-up in a row. Oh yeah, hip 
birds. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna have our hands a little bit outside the shoulders here. On our knees, we're gonna go down for the push up. And then when you're up, you're gonna row one, then the other. Push up, row, and row. If your weights are not square, they're round, you can do the push up flat and then just pick the weights up with them next to your hands. So have your hands, we got two rounds here. You can have the hands on the mat, weights next to you to your push up, and then pick up each weight for the row. This is a fun one. Woo, it burns. Almost there. All right, single side reverse fly. Now we're gonna tuck under our body and lift up. The arm that's working, I've just got that leg extended behind me, toe on the ground, foot on the ground for balance and support. And I'm into a reverse fly. With heavy weight, you wanna make sure you're controlling the form. You can get a little bit of momentum, but not too much. If you need to drop to your light weight, now would be the time to do so. We've got to the other side here. Push up to row is coming next. We're going to work our way backwards. Push up to row. Here we go, guys. We push up. We row one. We row the other. Push up again. So I know we do a lot within the five minutes. No breaks. We just keep moving. Do what you can. It's five minutes of work, but you can take breaks when you need to. The timer keeps going. If you need to pause here on the push-ups, or maybe you're just rowing, or maybe you're just doing the push-ups, just keep moving. That would be a perfect five minutes. Whether you're doing exactly what I'm doing or not, doesn't really matter. Just keep your body going with good form and intent. Oh gosh, I lost track. Let me check the timer. Apparently that was it. I don't know how I can't count, guys. This is unbelievable. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's get our abs going. Are you guys dying right now laughing at me? I mean, two, four. Where did I mess up? Two, four, six. Uh, I lost track somewhere. We did 10. All right, I'm sure you guys will tell me when we're done. Okay. Let's get our abs done. Still doesn't make sense to me. All right, I don't know. Now I'm really confused, but that's all right. We'll get back to it. Huh. Oh, I know what I did. All right, that won't bug me now, now that I know. But, bummer, okay, we just did, so we got everything in, but we were supposed to finish with the overhead pull chest buster. I did it twice. That was my mistake. Okay, all right, messed it up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Grab one weight. We're gonna start with a rainbow twist. Um, this is all gonna be for abs. So if you can stick with your heavy weight, I'd have a lightweight handy. The second time through will be a lot harder. So feet are gonna be out in front of you. We're gonna start on the side of our body with our weight and come up overhead, twisting to the side. Three, two, one. Boat pose with your weights. 
So we've got our feet and um, from knees down to our feet, we want it parallel to the ground. Give me a side view. And then we're just making a little boat position out of our body between my thighs and my stomach is where somebody could sit in the boat. <laughs> Three, two, one, feet back down, Russian twist, twisting side to side. Keep the weight low, touch it to the ground, move to the other side. Put the weight down, laying on our backs. There we go. Flutter kicks, hands under your butt, head and shoulders off the ground, holding those abs nice and tight as we flutter our legs. Straight legs, toes point toward you, flex toward you, sorry. Toes flex toward you if you can. Little flutters. Ooh, yeah. The lower your legs, the harder this is. If you need to rest your head and neck, put your legs up higher in the air, that's just fine. Here comes leg lift. Laying on the ground here. Head and shoulders are relaxed. Head and neck and shoulders, getting a little break here. Just raising legs up and down. All right, we're back to the flutter. We'll do the flutter one more time. Then we're gonna do the leg lift one more time. Then we'll work back through that first part. Stay with it, guys. Woo, it burns. 10 seconds. Leg lift. Woo! Head and chest, sorry, head and shoulders and neck are all relaxed on the ground, just lifting legs up. Use your abs to do the lifting. Coming back up, let's work backwards here. Russian twist, grab your weight, twisting side to side. Russian twist here, boat pose next. Then we'll finish with those rainbow twists. Woo! Nice way to finish things off here. Holy hip flexors, they are there and they are tired. <laughs> oh boy. Don't let any holes be in your boat. Keep those legs up. I know the hip flexors are tired. Do what you can here. Ready to finish rainbow twists. Three, two, one. Legs out in front of you. We're twisting from the side, overhead to the other side. We are close to a stretch, guys. Nice work today. Big set. Changed up the order a bit. A little change for our body. There it is. Woo! Love that timer. All right. Oh, let's go ahead and, oh, since we're seated, let's start in butterfly. Oh, give some care to those hip flexors that got worked good today. Bottoms of feet come together, bend forward at your waist, lowering your chin down toward your chest.
sitting up, taking your neck to the back, chin up in the air. And one more time, coming way forward, and then rounding the chin down into the chest. Last time, sitting up, taking the neck to the back. Extending both legs. Let's start with I reaching for the toes, pull them back. Do a little calf stretch. Wiggle your shoulders. And then let's take it to our bending forward, trying to get elbows toward the mat. Little hamstring stretch. We worked them pretty good today. Seated hip twist, crossing one foot over, opposite elbow is gonna push into the outside of that thigh. Switch. And we're coming down onto our back. Good morning stretch, arms overhead. Reach through your fingers, point through your toes. Hug one knee in, bring it in close to your chest. Open wide to the side, ankle circles. Take it across your body. Leave your shoulder on the ground and look in that direction. Come back to center, switching sides. Other leg, big hug. Open wide to the side, ankle circles. And take it across, leave your shoulder on the ground, look in that direction. Let's make a figure four out of our legs here, crossing one ankle over the knee. Use the elbow to help push open the other knee. Pull the leg in. Switching sides. That elbow should really help push the knee open, get the extra stretch in that hip flexor area. And feet flat, let's bridge up, reach up, reach your arms up overhead. Perfect, rolling over. Low cobra, elbows into the mat. Let your head fall to the back. Pushing back. Pushing back, sitting on your heels, child's pose. Coming up to high cobra. Let's take chin to opposite shoulder, to, to left shoulder to start and then to right. Move it over to the other side. Tucking toes, popping into down dog. Just take a good deep stretch here. Push through the heels, walk the dog. And we're dropping back onto our knees. Let's thread the needle. One hand under the body, head rests into the mat. Just relax as you push into the mat. Other side. Pigeon.
We are almost there, guys. Little pigeon stretch. And we will take it on home. Let your weight go on the front leg. Pull the back leg up. Lean to the back and reach to the back. We're switching legs. Pull the other leg into pigeon. Let the weight go, bring the back leg up, lean to the back, reach to the back. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you had a good workout. Um, and I will see you guys on Thursday. So pause the recording here.